Hello, Internet. Uh, this is your egg here. I want to think of your boy eggs, but that's not true. Um, this is day 17 or 16, day 17 of day 20. Oh, spider on the black bird. And uh, so we're posting this video. We have a show tonight with a band. And we're going to be dressed up for that. Uh, we went and got some new today with the high plates and posted some things on the internet uh, and really have just been working through a bunch of identity related issues today and thinking back over some of our mental health struggles and gender struggles and realizing that some people that we have known in the past they find this comfortable some of the topics that we talk about and that's understandable and sometimes we should feel discomfort because maybe in the past things weren't right and so that's part of our transition transformation Start things will change greatly in many ways. So we're still looking for that. This is one of the things that we need to think about in our culture, the culture that we grew up in, identity is where Joined together. And there was a lot of toxic attributes to that. The other thing is that science has proven that scientists know that there are more than two sexes and one or two genders. That gender is a spectrum. Uh, but we didn't have access to that information. And so the things that we express. Uh, that are uncomfortable. We express because we don't want anyone else to have to feel because someone else wasn't comfortable talking about facts. And there's a friend of ours said that you know there's deplorable things. We've been deplorable things, done deplorable things in human history as Human history is also built with recovery and rejuvenation and rebirth. And anyone who's been through a degree or, or any kind of self help kind of stuff like that, there's steps, right? And, and the steps you go to, the end step is to keep doing the last steps, keep walking the steps, keep walking the path. And so, we walk the path. Every time we walk, we, we find new things and new parts of our identity that are that always been there that have been hidden because of things that have been layered on top of it. And so it's a uncomfortable time for us and that there's a mixture of gender dysphoria because we're we're getting to try more on what we like. If we like for instance we like these glasses, we like this shirt, this jewel jewelry fake, you know, or not fake, but you know, just got it at the GSD Center at Eastman shout out again to the GSD Center. So our mind is intersectionally challenged right now with looking at our entire existence, our history, plans, our future through really new glasses again. And we said this, I think we said this yesterday, but we said it to somebody. Um, 
and that includes things like talking about our neurodivergence and how we've been affected by that through our, our entire life because it wasn't treated properly and because we didn't know words to say to express our and so as we are doing this training, as we are doing this transition, we are trying to uh, walk the path the way that we some encouragement for the people who come after us whatever change is, because change is a, is a thing that we all do every day. And we want to drive and we want others to drive. And part of our mission, goal, whatever you want to call it right now in our life is to, to be here and to document, document, um, you know, so much of our lives, we have documented things through the lens of a journalist or an educator. And we don't have problems with fear, but, and this is one of the things, we are very hyper vigilant about stuff. And we have always been, but we just didn't know what to call it. Um, and that also includes talking about things like childhood traumas and traumas at the hands of why sometimes people can't go to a, a worship, house of worship to get healing because there, there are some internal things that keep them, prevent them from going in those places. So as we were talking, as we were sharing with um, and hearing from uh, speakers the other day at the Eastern uh, Rise Conference, and they were talking about the, the houses of worship as a place to heal. And we need to make spaces for everyone to heal. Sometimes that means that we remove that we can find a space for them, for those for those people who can't go to a house of worship. A place for them to heal as well. That is really one of the things that we've been wrapping our head around as we've gone through this. Again, we don't really have any physical changes to today. We didn't, don't think we forgot anything. Oh, this morning we did take a door off the attention to our house, a door that had a hole in it from one time when we were in so much anguish that we kick the door to make hold. But damaging ourselves and not a good move. Um, but part of getting past that is uh, getting rid of that door. Uh, we know what was there. And we don't need that constant reminder of it. So we're gonna get a new or maybe we won't have you know so that's where we are today. Oh, and people ask why we use the we. I said it before, but we dissociated from our, our, our body and work, and we're not really sure how many people are in our head. <laughs> uh, but we're trying to work together, we're trying to get the committee together. That's why we use we, but if you want to refer to this, you, you can always use y'all. Y'all is a perfect plural or singular word. It's a thing in the other. Yeah, and see, here's our, here's our mouth. <laughs> uh, and our teeth, which, you know, so we've got another appointment this morning. Anyway, uh, that's all we have. Have shown up, we'll let you know later on that goes. 
thanks for listening, paying attention. Like, subscribe, leave something in the comments if you anything that we said resonates with you or prompts you to think further. We are trying to make this a journey that we can share with our friends. Again, have a safe space for us all. So, namaste. I hope you are happy today. That the healing that you need comes to you. Ending screen smile here uh, as we go on Zoom and stop the recording. <laughs>